Hi friends, this week we're making steamed layer cake, also called banya lang. This was one of my favorite sweet treats growing up and my mom made it quite often. So in this video, I'll share my mom's wonderful recipe plus lots of tips and tricks for guaranteed success. To make the green layer, we need tapioca starch, rice flour, sugar, water, and pandan paste. The vegetable oil is for greasing the pan. For the yellow layer, we need peeled split mung bean, salt, water, sugar, coconut milk, tapioca starch, rice flour, and yellow food coloring. Let's start by washing the mung bean. Place them into a large bowl, fill with cool water, swish the beans in the water a few times, pour off the water, and repeat this process two more times. After the final rinse, fill the bowl with hot water. Now let the beans soak for two hours. After the beans are done soaking, rinse them one more time and then drain well. Put the beans into a saucepan, add some salt and the water. Bring the water to a boil over high heat. As soon as it comes to a boil, give it a quick stir and then reduce the heat to low. Skim off the foam from the top and discard. Cook the beans over low heat until all of the liquid is absorbed, approximately 15 minutes. Now let the beans cool completely. If planning ahead, cooking the beans is something that we can do the day before. Add the beans into the blender. Add the tapioca starch, rice flour, sugar, and coconut milk. Blend on high speed for 30 to 45 seconds. Measure out 18 ounces of the batter. The cake will have two yellow layers, with each layer being 9 ounces each. To brighten up the color, add two drops of yellow food coloring and mix well. To make the green layer, add the tapioca starch, rice flour, and sugar. Combine all of the dry ingredients together. Add the water. Stir everything together until the mixture is smooth. Lastly, add the pandan paste and mix well. We should have a total of 24 ounces. The cake will have three green layers with each layer being eight ounces each. The cake pan that I'm using is nine inches by one and a half inches high. Add some vegetable oil into the cake pan. Using a paper towel, coat the pan evenly with a thin layer of oil. Fill just half the steamer basin with water. Bring the water to a rapid boil over high heat. Reduce the heat to low and add the steamer tray along with the cake pan. Wrap the lid with a kitchen towel and this will prevent any water from dripping onto the cake. Cover the steamer and heat the empty cake pan for two minutes. Let's stir the green batter well as it has a tendency to settle. Measure out eight ounces of the green batter. For the first layer, pour in the green batter, cover the steamer, and steam for a total of 10 minutes. This is an important trick. About halfway through, remove the lid to release some of the steam, and then cover again and continue cooking. We need to do this for every layer. Let's prep the second layer, the yellow layer, by giving it a quick stir. Measure out nine ounces of the batter. Lightly touch the first layer using the back of a spoon. If any batter sticks to the spoon, it's not solid enough. Steam for another minute and then check again. This first layer is good to go, so let's gently pour on the yellow batter. Use a spatula to scrape out all the batter from the measuring cup. Steam the second layer for 10 minutes. Again, about halfway through, remove the lid to release the steam and then cover again. Let's check again using the back of the spoon and make sure the layer is solid. From this point on, we have to be really careful about adding additional layers as the cake is fragile. For this next green layer, pour the batter over the back of the spoon to disperse the flow. Steam the third layer for 12 minutes. This layer is still a bit wet, so we'll steam for another minute. Add layer four and steam for 14 minutes. The steam time increases as we add more layers. Now add the fifth and final layer. Steam this last layer for 15 minutes. Once done, remove the cake from the steamer and let it cool for at least an hour. Using a spatula, go all around the cake and separate the cake from the pan. Carefully lift small sections of the cake and work our way around the pan. Invert a plate over the cake pan and then flip the pan over. And there we have it, our beautiful steamed layer cake. This cake is finger food, so we want to serve it in small pieces. Pour out a small amount of oil onto a paper towel. Smear the oil on both sides of the knife. As the texture is fairly sticky, this will make it easier to cut the cake. Let's start by cutting the cake in half. Cut into thin slices. 
and then cut each section into smaller pieces. Optionally, use a wavy knife to make some prettier cuts. For a fun recipe twist, make the cakes using different size pans, like this mini muffin pan or this tart pan. One more fun recipe twist. By swapping the pandan paste for orange food coloring, we can make these tasty little treats for Halloween. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.